Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So today we're going to continue playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority again. And this episode will kind of be more of a, I suppose you could call it filler. Just because we're going to be working our way closer and closer to Kaisar's Legion. As we will try to instigate a war with the Grabber Territories as well as Sky Reavers. Now, we're not going to be at war with the Grabber ter Territory yet because I already have a justification almost ready. For the Kimmel Station, which is fine with me. It's only 2285. Kaiser's Legion has been building up. But no problem there. They got a crap ton of manpower, but we're pretty... Actually, I have more manpower than them. And they'd probably definitely have more divisions than me. But we're definitely building ourselves up. Ooh, super heavy paddle steamer. Very nice. Logistics 2. Let's get that one next. And let's actually get some better light cruisers going ahead. Uh, ooh, Washington Brotherhood expansion. I think we're done with that there. Uh, let's see. Sponsor patriotic movie. I don't need more stability, but I could use some more war support. Because 30%, that ain't very good. Uh, ooh. And we can continue coring a lot of territory that we have up here, which will be great. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh. Oh, free military factories. Thank you very much. I think we're doing pretty well in power armor. Do we need, need anything? No, not really. I mean, we got so many good stuff, so much stockpile of everything that we're doing really, really well to the point where this campaign is probably just going to end up being fairly easy. I don't want to say it's going to be easy, but it would probably be fairly easy. We definitely definitely need more electronics. Uh, dockyards? Definitely put like five on there because we've got a lot of ships that actually need repairs finally. Cool, and someone liked my comment that I said amen about Star Wars and me ignoring uh, just the Star Wars movies Disney's made since they took it over from George Lucas, but whatever. Uh, so much potential. So much potential, man. Go ahead and install police force everywhere because everyone loves the police. Uh, very nice. Old Remo. And you know, I'm just going to let time go on right now just because we need that justification for war as fast as possible for me to crush my enemies. And have a good time with them. Oh man, we are so far up north. I love it. Fort Nelson, Pink Mountain. I wonder what it's like living in Alaska. It's gotta be so freaking cold up there. So cold. Uh, yeah, cool. Good. And we have some infantry division. Okay. Wasn't expecting infantry. Power armor, infantry. You guys are. Oh, we have to go to war with the. Oh, we have to go to war with the she as. Well, we don't have to go to war with the she. But I will get a war justification to go to war with the she, which is fine. Awesome. You need a little bit more training, so I don't mind training you for a little bit first. And. There you go. The American Brotherhood. The Brotherhood has not always stood for aloof. Stood always aloof from the waste. They stood against the Masters of Mutant Armies and cleaned up the Raiders. They have at had times romantic entanglements with the peoples of the waste. I've already read this earlier. They've long been a minority, but Enclave's resurgence has shown them that they must take a greater step into the outside world. While conservatives only see their focus from Navarro and control of the waste, liberals argue the Brotherhood had supported New California. Perhaps vertebrates wouldn't fly with impunity from New Reno to Diglo. Nice. And the Brotherhoods will change into the American Brotherhood, and we will get more di division, defense, and max entrenchment, in which they become purple. And I get to own Navarro, Bodega, as well as San Rafael. And before I forget, let's go ahead and just core all these territories. Up, or get in the process of going to core them. Uh, yeah, there's some things over here. And yes, I will go to war with everyone very soon. Yeah, that's not my territory. Just click, 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 click. So yeah, like I was explaining in the comments yesterday to somebody about uh, just me... Oh, hello, Pawa Ama. Just not being able to do the focus where I can review the Enclave history. Like I said before, I will reveal it in time with uh, the alternative playthrough of what we're going to do after I'm finished with Kaiser's Legion, which I'll come back to an earlier save, probably like right after we beat the NCR, in which... Um, we're just gonna. I'm going. To, just gonna choose the focuses that I didn't choose earlier. Actually, you know what? I could probably send you up here. So instead of going with the Ganon Doctrine, I'll go with the Firm's Granite uh, thing. So that'll be good. Actually, yeah, I could really use you guys up here. And focus. Well, we might as well go ahead and begin doing uh, defeat the Axis of Evil. That'd be that'd probably be a good thing to do. I want to go to war before I do my justification. Actually, how long will it take for me to go to war with the Grabber Territory? Uh, let's see. 
110 days. Actually, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and do that. That's pretty good. Modify government. No problems. Lots of population. I love it. Love it. Love it. Could we use more infrastructure somewhere? Sure. Over here, because we'll get a little bit more of electronics. Sterile medical equipment. Nice. Supply goes up for ghouls, but supplies for infantry goes down. Very nice. Get more defense. That'd be great. All right, are you guys up here yet? Advanced generator. Awesome. That's 800 days ahead of the time. Whatever. Uh, we're actually... We don't even have enough divisions up here yet. Oh, baby. Particle Sons, I'm throwing you up here. As... Oh, I have an infantry division here, too. Well, then. Cool. And... Just give me, like, three more divisions. That's fine. Just... Make them come up here. Launch codes detected. Weren't the, weren't the silos in southern Nevada? The Chinese... Oh, there we go. The Chinese menace San Francisco is one of the greatest cities of pre-war America. A center of tech and a window to the world, but now it's occupied by the Xi, a Chinese beachhead on American soil. Some say we must dr drive them into the ocean. Others, mindful of Camp Turtle Dove and other pre-war mistakes, suggest we give the city autonomy and welcome the Xi into the United States. It sounds like there's supposed to be another decision, but since I'm not charismatic and I'm ruthless, I get a war goal against them. More 10% more war support, which is awesome. And a little bit more stability, which is really great. Ooh, do we have something? Oh. Here we go. Glorious. Um. Ooh, yes. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll go to war with the Xi. They probably can hold us off for a while. But maybe not. They they are they're out of manpower. They're Oh, they're allied with Kemult Station. So we might end up in a war with them anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll go to war with them as soon as we got enough divisions per tile, which we do not yet. But something. T oh, our guys are getting up here. Uh, you know what? Just go ahead and go to war with them. Call all allies because American Brotherhood is actually underneath us. We have 520 factories. Ambrose Pettigrew is our leader. We're gonna beat them up as best we can. Go to war with the Shi. The American Brotherhood wants to send us 22 divisions. I think we'll be okay. High to confederations at war with us, which is fine. They are really trying to break out or break out of their territory, kill my power armor, but if they don't have air superiority and they can't pierce me, there's not much of a choice that they can really do anything here. Ah, I love it. And return for are those power armor divisions to Chris Hamilton. Uh, looks like sounds like someone's calling me. Can't quite do that yet at the current moment. Can't pick up the phone. Sorry, mom. Oh well. Uh, can we break into here? Would that be possible? She has assumed faction le faction leadership of the Nevada Pact. Um. Okay. All right. Sure, whatever. Uh, let's see. We could sponsor a railway. Don't really need that right now. The Xi have given up, even though they just took over um, faction leadership, so that's always good. Do we have... Nope, we can't do that. We got some more military factories that I don't really need. Gunships are great. How are my thingies down here? They're not bad. We'll do that as well. And we can do some doctrine stuff, but or some military staff stuff. But I'm a little bit more concerned... With a few other things first. Awesome. Look, just so much manpower. Love it. Let's see. Let's reclaim Seattle and add infrastructure. The Dark Foundry. We've heard the Washington Brotherhood worships a Dark Foundry, but as we dig them out of the ruins of Seattle, it appears the truth is more pros prosaic. A Zack supercomputer survived the war and has been advising the Washington Brotherhood in exchange for resources. Hard to imagine anyone would be dumb enough to follow a supercomputer, but it's picked up a great deal of knowledge and advice about the wasteland. We can pull the plug or get an advisor for more factory output. Honestly, I don't really need this. Factory output for me is just insane right now, so I don't mind pulling the plug. Awesome. And then we'll do this and go to... Uh, not, not much else. Cool. Uh, Kamal Station's almost gone, in which we're just going to annex everybody. Like normal, the Trolls of the Warren. The Troll Warren have given rise to an odd conundrum. Obviously, though, we'll execute the war criminals. A super mutant who used to live in Vault 6, Betty has claimed that she and many of the super mutants are victims of circumstance, and they treated humans under their rule no worse than neighboring tribes would have. Betty, based on her Vault education, has invoked constitutional claims on behalf of her and the other super mutants and demands a place in the United States. And, of course, a captive population of super mutants could have economic applications. 
Uh, I can do this, in which I lose stability, because I chose Integrate the Mutants, which is okay. Cute, but no reason to deviate from the standard procedures. Or, can she wear this collar? <laughs> ah, collars are in, baby. But anyways, I'll just do this one, because I get three factories compared to everything else. Uh, actually, maybe not. Um... You know what, Honest Labor will make them honest. Er, men. Whatever. We can get more stability, I think. Yeah, we can probably get more stability. Awesome. Anything else around here? No? Ah, oh, the sheep are dead. Awesome. Uh, these guys are about to die as well. I'm about to just throw you up here. Cool. Research. Oh, double research. Arm tug, sure. Get a better destroyer. Awesome. Uh, dredging Portland's Harbor. The pirates of the mall, with the destruction of the mall, we need to decide to do with the pirates who made it home. We could scatter them through the wastes, but some of the pirates claim they were engaging in aggressive commerce, given the lack of protection for shipping in the region. I have cop here as well, so give me one moment. We can imprison a leadership and get two naval dockyards, or we will lose stability, get a double bonus for naval doctrine, which doesn't even exist in this mod yet, and get still two naval dockyards. I'm going to do with this, because I don't want to lose stability, because I just lost stability, and I don't want to lose any more. Free Cascadia, the Colorado Line. Um, these would be fun to do, but I need to annex this area first. Cool. Uh, the She. Thank you. Awesome. Great. So we're not yet bordering Kaisar's Legion, so I'm going to wait to do this. Actually, I forgot which one I was going to do, but it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and do Operation Brutus first, and we can aid foes of the Legion. Nice. Operation Brutus. So, I guess I couldn't annex the Haida Confederation. Which kind of sucks, but I I don't really care. So, uh, we can do north to Alaska. Let's see what that does. Stars and stripes forever. The men and women who miss the end of the world stumble out of their suspended animation pods, looking at the oddly short men and women who handed them blankets and a soup that tasted almost like chicken. Don't worry, said one of the nurses. It's been a while, but on behalf of the Enclave, let me assure you that the Star Spangled Banner yet waves over the land of the free and home of the brave. You honestly didn't miss very much. Ah... Uh, America. Uh, looks like we might be able to use something up here. If I have to go to war with anyone in the south here, just we'll put that there. Put this here. We got plenty of civilian factories to the point where I don't really care. Yeah, just keep... We're going to need probably a little bit more electricity, so... Go ahead and spruce up the place a little bit. That's paused. She was annexed. Great job, guys. Phenomenal job. And let's get a civilian power grid. And the various locations that need it. Awesome. Awesome, 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 possum. Find another power grid. Okay, then. Oh. Okay. Over here. And then... Over here. Oh, two layer. Is this my territory, or is this... Oh, this is still my territory. It just looked very close and similar to the American Brotherhood's territory. Uh, someone did mention for me to play as play with the, was it the Russian-made mod that actually opens up parts of the Midwest and East Coast? Uh, I haven't tried that mod out yet. I heard it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's very similar to the Enclave Reborn mod that I'm using right now. So, uh, I'll try it out maybe a little bit later. I am actually fairly busy. I have a paper I need to write for my class. I need to get on that because I have to give a presentation over it in about a week. So, ugh, papers. Ugh, terrible. Ugh. Advanced small tree, very nice. Just keep doing the next one, doesn't really matter. Ooh, send couriers. Ooh, we, oh, the Shoshone become a federal commonwealth as well as New Hammond. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Another power grid. Oh, we can also sponsor a patriotic movie, which would be good to do. Because I could use... War, war movie, I mean, yeah. I need some more war support. Cool, how many more... Did I? I justified on them, yeah, that's right. I did justify on them. They got a little bit of manpower, like 28 divisions, which isn't bad. We're about a little more than halfway to the point of us going to take them out. To go to war with them. Uh, oh, I did say I was going to try using um, paratroopers, but I will try to do that next time just because I don't have time at the current moment to do it. And make sure I do it correctly. Oh, I guess I have trooper wings here. Oh, well, I guess... I mean, I'm pretty bad at this. Give me just like... You two. Click on our airbase to designate the takeoff point. 
So obviously that's the only air base. And then right click on the province that is in range of the local transport planes to designate the drop location. Um, well, if we could break through the area fairly quickly, I'll probably just take out Outpost Quinn. I'm supposed to right click, right? That is within range. Well, I mean, I... Ooh, Operation Brutus, very nice. I mean, I can have just... Uh... Oh, wait, zero divisions were s will be assigned. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll focus on that a little bit later. Anyways, ooh, don't want to miss a day. I'll do uh, Free Cascadia, because why not? Because why not? Sailing ship two, we'll do that. Um, sailing ship one, let's get another sailing ship two in there. And put them in Gunderson, because that's where I put everybody. Gunderson. Very nice, very nice. Uh, actually, we have so many of these that I could probably actually make these guys okay. Put them in Gunderson. Probably ne almost not even going to use these guys. Do that, do that. Actually, just get rid of you since we have the other one already. And do that. Yeah, that'd be probably pretty good. Actually, can I upgrade these guys with anything? We have a little bit of naval XP. The cannons should be pretty good. We can't put radar on them. Cannons, I've already checked them out. Engines, actually we can get better engines. Armor, battleship armor 3. Well, the only thing we can do is give them a better engine, which is fine with me. Go and go to Gunderson. There you are. Sailing ship twos. Can sailing ship twos be upgraded any further as well? Are these? Um, this looks like a rapid fire. It's a light cruiser battery. If we're gonna do a light cruiser battery. We might as well get light cruiser battery two, better anti-air, and maybe slightly better torpedoes, a better cruiser engine. Nothing there. Uh, save it so far. Arm tug. Nice. I'm upgrading this for no, absolutely no reason, but just a Keep an eye on things. Cool. All right. So give me one of those. One of those. Uh, at this point, there's, I guess there's really no point for even me to even try to upgrade this stuff. Just because I'm going to research these guys so fast, so quickly. That doesn't even matter. We just want to... Uh, don't do one. Go to Gunderson as well. One. One. Uh, give me one of those guys. This is going to take forever. Nice. Oh, we got some more research stuff we could do, yeah. That's true, that's true. Let's keep going. Response boat sounds good to me. Now the infantry division is not there, not there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Now we can go to war with them. Awesome. I mean, honestly, we'll just go to war immediately. They're not attacking us, which is fine. I don't really care. And just fight against these guys as well for this, against the Sky Reavers. Uh... Ooh, New Hammond becomes a federal commonwealth. Send couriers to bone pickers. Find another thing here. Oh, Nevada range. Sure. Oh, actually, you can be. Mark Lee. Oh, you want to join the war? That's fine with me. I don't really care. You're not going to get anything out of this anyways. Oh, and you guys, since you're not doing very much, I'm going to attach you here. Just around Arroyo right now. We'll be able to stamp them out probably pretty easily. Oh, Gravitaries joined the Nevada Pact. Which is led by the Haida Confederation? Yeah, I think they are. Alright, well, I mean, good luck with that. Free Cascadia. Fix the Broken Coast. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Look at that. Just manpower. 93,000. When you start out in this game... You have nowhere near that manpower. You start with, was it zero maybe even? It's so small compared to what we have now. I love rebuilding America. Love it. All right, not bad, not bad. Any other decisions we can do? Send a courier to Arroyo. Yeah, we might as well do that. Yes, what a silly idea. Falls ill. Do that. Find another power grid down here. How long do we have this uh, war goal? Alright, very nice, very nice. Soldiers are ready to go. 
They honestly probably should have no difficulty doing this, or very little difficulty, if anything. Cool. They join the Nevada Pack, that's fine. Might not be able to penetrate here, but that's alright. Everywhere else we'll be able to penetrate. We got Shock Tactics, Grabber, Grabber Territory has fallen. And, let's see. Anything else here? Ooh. More reinforced rates. Alright. Find a power grid. Basic power plant. Nice. Oh, actually, I got more research I can do. Sponsor a follower expedition to Sorrows. All right, well, there's only two political power. We'll try that. Someone else liked my amen comment from yesterday. We'll do that as well. Electricity is still doing more than fine. We actually have a lot of other things that we need to focus on first. Uh, power armor. Yeah, we might as well do that. Why not? We could always use more guns, right? Oh, these guys are gone. Who do I have to capitulate? Oh, you actually have to capitulate the Haida Confederation? I have to use my navy and navally invade the Haida, the stupid people over here? Oh my goodness, I should not have done this. We honestly might never be out of this war then. And there goes Arroyo. Really, no problem there. Coasts. You got another job. I've got another job for you. Uh, up here, up here, do that. Um, yeah, definitely over here, Navarra. Just in case. Yeah, I know I don't have enough for this entire thing, but whatever. Um, yeah, anything bo bordering the river definitely needs stuff. All right, and boom, right there. Cool. Uh, well, since we have to go to war with these guys, this piece of garbage, or we're actually already at war, but we have to naval invade now. Uh, I'm gonna send maybe two divisions from each tile. You guys come up here to take that area. You guys make it up from here to take that area. Our navy should be okay. Oh, can we not do that with you guys? Maybe I need infantry to do this. Hold on. I've never tried naval invasions with this. Maybe power armor. Well, I guess it would make... Eh, power armor would be transported. No, I still can't do it with this. Oh, maybe I need to research some sort of Ah, there it is. That's why. All right. Power armor can do whatever they need to do. So, I'm probably going to send in with a power armor. Just take the top half. Come up north. And we're definitely going to need this. And we're definitely going to need some of this. Just fine with me. Whatever. Uh, next up is the Sky Reavers anyway. So, in which we will be war with them in about 60 days. The Chosen One's trial. The Chosen One's trial is never in doubt. Even if Granite had suspicions about the Enclave's experiments on the oil rig at Navarro... And at Navarro, too many members of the Enclave blame the Chosen One for deaths of friends and families, and propaganda blame the Chosen One for stopping the Enclave's medical assistance at Arroyo's tribals. And so the Chosen One was found guilty of supporting slavers in the den, of killing miners in Broken Hills, of smuggling liquor into Vault City, and of aiding cultists in San Francisco, and of course, of treason against the United States government. The only question was their fate. Firing squad, or life in solitary confinement? Oh no, I've taken the Chosen One. That's probably not good for the game, but that's okay. No one cares. Um, let's see, well, he's going to die regardless, eventually, we all die in the end, spoiler alert, I don't know if you knew that, but we all die in the end, uh, I'm probably going to go with the war sport because I need that, oh, world of tyranny and serfdom, with the liberation of California, America's cause seems brighter than it has, than it has in the past 200 years, but there are still those who oppose the belief that all men are created equal, Kaiser's legion of the brotherhood, guided by the unholy contempt for the human race, have formed an alliance against us. They know that if left unchecked, the reunited states will save this country, and they're asked, so they've asked for war. They guarantee the 80s. I mean, okay. I don't, I don't care. Please tell me that my puppet has not allied Kaiser's Legion. Okay. Whew. That would have been like, what? Like a what? <laughs> Boy, I already did everything I needed to do. Fix the broken coast. Oppose Mexican ties, Colorado line. Um, alright, not bad. I just need another research thing to open up here. Ooh. More power armor? Sure. Throw two more divisions over there. Throw four more over here. Yeah, there you go. Venice. Be Venice. Find another power grid. Awesome. Let's see. I will annex the Shoshone Nation, which will be fun. 
Where free men shall stand. Kaiser's Legion does not exist. It will be aborted if we're in a fairness of war. The tyrants of the waste have closed ranks against America. We must prepare for the war that is surely coming our way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know it's coming our way. Arm tug. I'm not even going to bother with really replacing these things at the bottom here. I mean, there's really no point to. Just make me another arm tug. Just give me one or something. And then give me, like, another um, boat. Wait, maybe not a boat. Response boat. There you go. That's a better boat. Gunderson, hello, hello. Where's the G? Oh, it's right in front of me. Cool, cool. Check out our navy real quick. We got a lot of ships. There you want to hear? Just merge all the fleets together. All right. We got four battleships, fourteen light cruisers. Not bad. And who's reinforcing? Cool. So, so uh, select back. Select cool. I unselected them all. Divide in half. Give me half of that. Select half. Do that. And then, good enough. Look at how I made a navy so quickly. Go ahead and train. Everyone ready to do that? We got a little bit, few more divisions to spare and move around. The cabin. Oh, yep, that was it. Awesome. Sky Reavers will be dead next. And we've got a basic foundry. Very nice. Air Doctrine is going all right. Can't get the F-85 fighters. Oh, interception defense. Yeah, we could probably use that. Uh, we could probably use this. We probably could use this as well as probably one more, maybe. Just in case. Civilian power grid. Yeah, we'll do that. Infrastructure is going to be probably pretty necessary. When we get to it, you know. Patriotic movie. That's war support. Now the power grid is ready. Awesome. Bayula. Greenhorn. Alright, oppose the Mexican Titans. Awesome. Colorado Line. Nation Reborn. Um, well, since I chose, I'm not going to do the Enclave History right now. I might as well do the Department of Education, which is fine with me, but you'll see what happens. Go to war with the... Oh, the Mexicans. The Mexicans. Okay, cool. Uh, since I'm not using you over up north, you might as well come down here and ruin the infrastructure and supply lines. And then infantry, you might as well do that. Cool. Bedal, anything else around here? Ooh. No? Alright. So many men want to join the fronts. Join the military. Give me your manpower. Come on, research, please finish up. Please, war justification, finish up as well. You're right here. Beaver Creek. There we go. I can get Area 51 next, which would be awesome. Alright. So they're probably going to join the Nevada Pack, which is fine. I don't really care. And they immediately attack me, which makes no sense. But, you know, they're doing themselves. Uh, let's see. Salvage fighters are alright. Nuclears. Oh, I like the nuclears. Probably increase the time. It's, there's really no concern about this. Give me 400 more gunships. And... Oh, oh, cool. Give me half. I'm going to sp split half of you there. And the other half will come down to... Them over here. Awesome. Actually... Tie walkers. Oh! I can invite a faction. Sorrows. Uh, wait. Sorrows. Cool. Um. Well, unfortunately, right now, someone. Oh, let me go back to this. Never mind. Never mind. Ooh. I'm alright. I don't really need that. So the Sorrows are. Over. Oh, they're down here. Are they fighting the Mormons? They are fighting the. Um. Tarwalkers. And the tar walkers are not allied with any. Uh, oh, they're not allied with anybody. Interesting. Go ahead and just take them out. No problems. No worries. Sky Reavers, Area 51 will be ours. Tar walkers would be interesting to take out. Don't really need need the sorrows. 
Can I add them to me though? Send couriers to Delta. Uh, yeah, I'll, I don't mind annexing them. Bone pickers, yeah. Let's get the bone pickers in here first. Let's do that. More timed rat if I need it. Another infantry division. Awesome. Khazar's Legion is down here, which is good to know. Very good to know. They got a crap ton of manpower, though. Which is a lot of fun. Uh, New Hammond, no thank you. Landing canoes, whatever. Oh, good. We can actually invade now. Response boats, whatever. Patrol ships, sure. Give me, give me another one of those. Response boats, cool. Alright, Sky Reavers have capitulated. Cool. I want you two to organize yourselves and come up to here. Hopefully that has the port. I want you guys to come from the same area to attack the capital. You guys come from here. Um, cut off the capital from everyone else. I think I can only do 10 at a time right now. And... I really need the capital. Try to take the port. Yeah, I can only do 10 at a time, so no worries, no worries. Ah, cool. Department of Education, Teach for America. I would love to do this. We're going to conquer the moon. Tell about tell the kids about the mistakes that led to the Great War. Um, I need more war support, so I'm going to do this one. Enclave Education. The truth will set us free. Yeah, next time. The Enclave was devoted to saving America. You know that. We all know that, right? Uh, civilian education. I'm not doing military education since I went with entertainment broadcasts. Um, but I will be doing the decision for these two next time, from the top down or from the bottom up. Let's do civilian education, even though we really don't need it. Uh, let's see. Anything up north? Sponsor war movie. We need more uh, army XP. Send couriers to Ashton. Oh, yeah, baby. They rejoin us. Smoke grenade. Sounds good to me. Better reinforce rate sounds great to me as well. Um, but da -dum, but da -dum, bum -bum. oh, do Gunderson's Ranch. Do Gunderson's Ranch. We need more metal. Awesome. Yeah, Sky Reavers were pretty easy to take out. Uh, Coasts. You have a new job. Resistance as well. Awesome. Yeah, I don't really want to fight the Tar Walkers. There's really no point for me to. Uh, but I will do this. Go ahead and add, like, more here. I probably don't really need any more Enclave Auxiliaries. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, I'm going to leave that like that. And then, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. If I can get the Scorpions under my belt, too, that'd be a lot of fun. Oh, we have claims... Oh, oh that would be easy to take them out. Where are you... You guys are... Oh, oh! I can go to war with these guys. That's right. Let's, yeah, let's, see, let's, let's see what happens. You, you never know. They join the Nevada Pact, which is fine. No one cares. Just let them destroy themselves on my line. Power armor will be doing fine, as well as the infantry. Advanced power plant. Oh, right. I think it's good enough time to do a little bit of this. Advanced power plant. Foundry. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we will send couriers to pressure Cyril's economically. Civilian education, nice. In which we will get fund the colleges of the followers. Less monthly population, but we do get a little bit more political power and a little bit of goodies and goodies and goodies. Well, all bandits need to be taken out. Can't really, we can't really get rid of these guys too easily, which kind of sucks. But that's all right. Ulysses, he's doing a great job, anyways. Um, well, well, we haven't kicked them out yet, just yet. Oh, we've started moving them around. Ghouls discuss America's flaws. I lose war support and stability. It turns out some ghouls remember the martial law, rationing and general socia social collapse that preceded the Great War. As such, they are rather critical of our attempts to paint America as a city on the hill. One published a book entitled Lies Your Teacher Told You. Oh, baby, that's not, that does not sound good. But anyways, that's pretty much all the time for we have today, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. We are trying to finish off the Nevada Pact. We have reached Kaisar's lands, which will be very fun to play with very soon in the next episode, when we do finally go to war with the <clears throat> Legion by taking one of these two focuses, and yeah, and hopefully, hopefully invade the Hyde Confederation because they really, really need to get taken out. So, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we have a great time together. Thanks for watching.